In a recent interview with the website filmstage.com, actor Ethan Hawke spoke about Trojan horse movies. These are genre films which turn out to be something else, like the Oscar-nominated Get Out, a terrifying horror film which in fact is a blistering commentary on race relations in America. Stree is also a Trojan horse. Director Amar Koshik and writers Krishna DK and Raj Nidimoru create a horror comedy which turns out to be a subversive commentary on the position and treatment of women in India. It's clever and very funny. A small town is being haunted by a churel who descends on the four nights of the annual puja. She preys only on men who simply disappear leaving their clothes behind. Basically, Stree is the Desi version of Scarlett Johansson in Jonathan Glazer's Under the Skin. Johansson plays an alien who preys on men in Scotland. But unlike the alien, Archurel is emotional. She's described as Pyar ki Buki. And she believes in consent. In a terrific scene, we're told that she only abducts men who turn around when she calls, because looking into her eyes is giving permission. Even when they're fang monsters, women are more evolved. Yes means yes. Filmmakers Raj and DK have an original, gleefully irreverent voice. Remember Saif Ali Khan as Boris, the fake Russian zombie killer in Go Go Are Gone? Or Tushar Kapoor as Tilak, a petty criminal who likes to read in Shore in the City? But that sense of sort of trippy fun got drowned out by big stars and big budgets in their last two directorial ventures, Happy Ending and A Gentleman. With this script, they're back in form. They take the urban legend of a mysterious woman on a killing spree and use it to create a role reversal. In this film, men are petrified about walking alone in the dark while the women move around freely. We're categorically told, Purshon ka jeevan sankat mein hai. I'll admit that it's satisfying to see men for once get the short end of the stick. Kaushik takes their smart script and runs with it. He seamlessly blends horror tropes, the point of view shot, jump scares, the end twist with droll humour. The dialogue by Sumit Arora is consistently first rate. And pay attention to the throwaway lines. In one scene, they're discussing the fact that the spirit can read because when it's written Matana, she doesn't enter the house. <laughs> So Pankaj Tripathi, playing the local spirit expert, declares that she's a nai Bharat ki chorel. The irony is that in a film designed to give women the upper hand, it's the men who are doing all the heavy lifting. Shraddha Kapoor is required to look mysterious and attractive, which she manages. But the men are on fire. Tripathi has become Bollywood's biggest scene stealer. He gets some of the best lines and as usual, he effortlessly dominates with his comic timing and his unerring ability to locate the humour in the most mundane situations. Apar Shakti Khurana and Abhishek Banerjee, as the friends have such an endearing simplicity that you start to smile even before they've said anything. And then there's Rajkumar Rao, who continues to go from strength to strength. This role doesn't require him to have the flamboyance of Pritam Vidrohi in Bareli Ki Barfi. But as Vicky, pronounced Bicky, Rajkumar brings to the fore his vulnerability and charm. He's imminently watchable as the sweet, ambitious small town tailor who likes to think of himself as Chandiri Ka Manish Malhotra. On the downside, the songs are forgettable and redundant. And don't look for any genuine shocks here. Sri with her withered hands and rotting teeth seems like a 2.0 version of a Ramsey creature. The energy also dips in the second half, but thankfully the narrative rebounds and the humour keeps the film afloat. With laughs and scares, Sri delivers an important message. I'm going with three and a half stars. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion.